three main kinds of utility function that are kind of commonly used in this course are perfect substitutes. They are characterized by uh, linear indifference curves. These are supposed to be straight lines. We could have f over s here. Sorry, we should probably not have f and s because those are not perfect substitutes. We should think of something that is actually like plausibly a perfect substitute. So for one individual, it might be that Coke and Pepsi are perfect substitutes. They really can't taste the difference and they don't care. Okay, so if you're going to take away one of their Cokes, you just have to give them back one Pepsi. All right, that'd be fine with them. On the other side, we could have somebody who's got preferences like this, perfect complements. And they're characterized by right angle indifference curves. So as not straight as possible, they actually make a 90 degree turn. And some examples for this, you know, might be left shoe, right shoe, as I said in an earlier video. And we could also have something that lies kind of in the middle. Run out of room. With kind of a curve the whole way through. And maybe this is a good description of, for example, food and shelter. And this is Cobb Douglas preferences. Just as uh, before, sort of the equations that go with these guys for the perfect substitutes, they're going to be like uh, utility is equal to something like Coke plus Pepsi. For perfect complements, it might be something like uh, utility is equal to the minimum of left shoe and right shoe. And then for Cobb Douglas, it might be something like utility is equal to F to the one half times S to the one half. Okay? Where these things could be, these exponents could be any, any number. And we could also multiply these perfect substitutes. Uh, they could have numbers attached to them too. They don't have to be this one to one like that. I don't know if you guys can see that this is uh, the minimum of left and right. Okay, so those are the main three. So in the next one, we're going to kind of go through an example. We'll, we'll go through some examples, uh, trying to find the equations for the isoquant, I mean, for the indifference curves, the marginal rate of substitution, marginal utility, and so on.